what's going on collectors optical twin here for another video review this time it's uh, penny hardaway from orlando magic and it's from enter bay and you can purchase this figure at bigbadtoystore.com i'm gonna put the link on the description and also other enter bay you know figures if you uh wish to do so i think yeah big bad has uh has a lot they even have shack enter base really not in demand you know I, I i understand it's not for everyone but if you're a big basketball fan it, it's it's really quite um amusing you know i got it at home i got a bunch now and um you know they're, they're not hot toys but like i said if you're a big basketball fan especially in the 90s where you got you know the bulls the, the trio of the bulls you got penny hardaway Shaq. uh i know the one ninth cater more for the newer players like james harden and um russell westbrook and all that stuff but you know i've already started with one six so i always wanted to get this figure you know to tandem him up with uh a shack i don't have shack yet i know one of these days i'm gonna get one but you know, it's pretty neat you know it's two pack as you can see there the the box of the flap you can use it as a uh, a backdrop however i i won't do so because i already got too much figures you know now if you have like just one or two you know it's it's a good idea and you can see there the uniforms are separated you can see this uh certificate of authenticity and they come in naked uh, two naked bodies and they're dropping all over the place um I, they're, they're they retail for 2.99 at big bad toy store so you can you can look at a figure like 150 each which is not terrible for a licensed um you know money manufacturer like enter bay because they're i always say that enter bay is second uh from hot toys as far as um how the head sculpt is concerned which is the most important part of any one sixth figure but um you know they they don't make much they they mostly just use and uh, they mostly just do enter bay nba and all that stuff i wish they would do more because i think they you know they make quality products and i think the price is just just decent you know, nowadays 299 is a figure nowadays almost a figure because yeah if you've seen my purple coat joker he's worth 250 dollars and this guy is two figures however you know it's not marvel or dc or anything like that it's not as sexy as the newer uh, hot toys but i would say it's still worth picking up if you are a fan or if you live in orlando because those are the glory days as you can see here he comes with three pairs of cho uh, shoes he also comes with two stands, um, one Orlando Magic, the the vintage logo, and one, is, I would call them a vintage logo as well because they, they don't have the same logo, but a, a newer version, so to speak. And this is, I, I forgot what Penny Hardaway is, but they keep on coming back, Fomposite or something, I don't know. But they got different colorways, and the other ones, I think Penny 4, I could, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but... I know they were hot back even now you know when they come out it's almost like 250 dollars i think this blue one right here um you know I, I like sneakers but mostly only retro jordans you know i don't mind picking this up if i get the chance only for you know a specific amount though and i'm not willing to drop you know 250 dollars for sneakers which I, I don't even play basketball that much anymore so and even if i do i probably won't use them uh and he comes with normal standard set of hands as as always you know nothing changes in that and you always get that if you uh purchase enter May figures you get the magnetic ball but you only get one though so as far as the figures i'm gonna do two i guess i wouldn't do it side by side but one with the blue uniform and the white uniform what i did notice though is that this is not my first enter bay figure as you all know but um i feel like this 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 uniform itself is uh a little bit better than the normal enter bay figures that i've been reviewing um for the simple fact that you know, i don't know the prints on the team logo this orlando the star and the number one as you can see they're kind of reflective surfaces they're the reflective material so i don't know if that's really the case for the actual uniform but the stitching and look at the side on the tailoring on you know the edge of his uniform it's not printed out compared to my other um enter bay enter enter bay nba figures they're they're like garter garterized or something I, I don't know it just feels more premium even the star to print out i know they're printed out and they're not you know stitched on or whatever but 
they just feel a little bit better than most of my Enterbay figures, like I said. You know, the one big problem with these guys is that they do stain. The good news about that is that you probably won't have to worry about that because even if they do stain, like those knee pads that you just saw, I mean, he's always going to wear knee pads on that area. If, you know, if, if it does stain, then just leave it on. There's no, if I have the have a choice, look at that, that ugly knee or the back of his knee right there. You, you want to hide as much joints as possible. So, you know, why would you take them off? But, you know, it sucks that they, it does stain. And a lot of people are saying that, you know, wash him first before before putting them on to the uh, figure especially the tight ones you know he the, the compression shorts and all that stuff but you would think that if you bought a 250 dollar figure that they would do it for you right i mean this is a piece of cloth or fabric and I, I still think it's gonna leave a mark regardless i mean maybe it's not as intense but i think it will you know over time it will there you go so you can see there one good thing about enter bay figures is that you know like the, the joints at least on the wrist are not also visible because you can kind of push the hand all the way through to not you know show those joints and you can see he got a bulldog tattoo you know he doesn't have much tattoo in here this is the orlando magic version i know when he plays in new york he got some tattoos you know like a, a bigger tattoo on his arm but uh not on this release because he's the, this is the his the penny the prime penny hardaway which is um the more fun to watch penny I know he, he bounced around some teams uh, after he got injured. So he's one of those guys where, you know, he, you could say, you know, you, what could have been. Because he was pretty good back then. You know, he was dynamic to watch. He was fun. Uh, a 6'7", six, 6'8", six, guard who can jump. Uh, has tremendous court vision. Uh, I wouldn't put him... I would say skill level wise, you know, he, he was being compared to Magic Johnson because of the bigger guard uh, um, stigma, but he, he was dynamic, man. I, I thought he was going to grab the torch away from Jordan. They pushed him to, um, you know, they went to the NBA finals. They were, they were young, him and Shaq, but, you know, Orlando decided to break those, um, that team apart by not giving Shaq his money. And we all know what happened when he went to Los Angeles and, you know, Penny, we all thought Penny Hardaway is going to blossom into a star. And he did for quite some time. But injuries got the better of him. So now all um, all they need to, all Enterbay needs to do is make a figure of Grant Hill. And they can make this, uh, or Brandon Roy, this this what could have been a team. They can get Derrick Rose, him, uh, Penny Hardaway. They already got T-Mac. So if they create a Grant Hill or um the guy from portland i forgot his name greg odin then you know they can get a starting lineup of uh, uh, guys who could have been but yeah he, he's it's an unfortunate tragedy he he was he was he was good him and grant hill you know they, i thought they were going to be uh the uh, the guys to watch in the 90s but unfortunately we got robbed out of their primes because of their injury and by the time he came back you know, it wasn't the same. You know, it was it was it was the different Penny Hardaway and what we saw. The explosiveness was gone. You know, maybe the little bit of court vision was still there, but it it is far from the Penny Hardaway that we all loved when he was playing with Orlando. And you can just if you were young enough, you know, if you're young not to know or have seen Penny Hardaway play, go on YouTube, do yourself a favor, and you know, Google him. You know, watch his highlights and all that stuff. And you know, you you, you can know what i'm talking about his no look passes and this is what i'm talking about when it comes to his uniform which is a little bit better i feel like it's premium you can see those the, the edges look at that and this is my scotty pippen one and it's printed you know there's nothing wrong with that because you know it's not gonna have any sweat or anything but this one just feels more i don't know deluxe or premium knowing that it's an actual fabric or garter that's that's in there you know, even the printouts, as you can see here, it looks like the pinstripes on his uniform is um, does look a lot more refined compared to, uh, you know, um, he doesn't have pinstripes, but you can see here, like the ironing of the, it looks like a transfer of decal from his uniform. And like I said, I, it looks like from Penny Hardaway, it looks like it's printed and not just an iron on transfer, as you can see right there. It just looks nicer.
you know what I mean? And it, and, and also when the uniform kind of folds, you know, when you're trying to tuck his uniform in, it doesn't have that that stiff um, feel compared to a Scotty Pippen right here, where even his shorts, you know, when it, and, and I would say the bad part about this iron-ons is that sooner or later, and it depends maybe on what, what climate are you in, they're going to start cracking because, you know, it's it just how it is. But it is what it is, you know. The uniforms are pretty cheap nowadays. If you go to eBay, you can you can get a replacement one. So I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out the fact that it looks nicer on Penny. And as far as the head sculpt, so he, he comes with two actual figures, not just kind of like Allen Iverson, who you can you can there's actually a body for him. So that's pretty cool. Uh, head sculpt is pretty strong in my opinion. It's not a hundred percent Penny Hardaway, but it's there. You know, you know, it's Penny Hardaway. You know, he got his, um, you know, his, his patented uh, goatee or whatever you want to call that uh, style back in the 90s, which is, you know, that's what Penny was known for. Um, his unique look, I guess, back then he was the only one sporting that that kind of goatee. It's pretty nice. He got his fade going on and his second head sculpt, which is uh, this is the more, you know, kind of like neutral head sculpt because answer base known, which is I, I, I'm glad that they're including a second head sculpt for most of their figures, you know, outside of Michael Jordan. I I think most of my answer bay, even my Kobe Bryant has second set of head sculpt because, you know, I mean, what else can you include if you're not going to include a second head sculpt? It's not like they come with, you know, any accessories outside of a ball or in Penny's, hard Penny's case, he doesn't have any hardwares to back him up. He doesn't have an MVP trophy or a championship or even an all-star MVP, you know, to uh, to include in this package. So, you know, putting him, you don't want to put a bare bones figure out there. Even with, with T-Mac, they managed to, you know, put another set of uniform. I guess you could have done that with Penny, but the second head scalp is always a welcome addition. And this is the second head scalp of Penny not big of a difference to his first one but you know I, at first i was wondering why they went with this look which is kind of like blowing on the air but i saw some um footage on or, or pictures from google when i googled his image that you know he kind of wants he kind of does this expression every time he goes to the hole i guess so i i guess it is warranted but at least it's not as a subtle of a difference as you know i like uh, the Kevin Durant one where or the the most notable was Scotty Pippen that was just ridiculous his mouth is just slightly ever opened and there's some teeth showing at least there's there's a big of there's there's a little bit of difference between this and the uh, neutral head sculpt now, it, it is subtle but you know like I said at least it's not it's a, it's a bit of an it's a bit more obvious than the uh, Scotty Pippen one. If you haven't seen the Scotty Pippen one, just go ahead and watch my review. It's um it's almost like they didn't want to include a second head sculpt, and this is it side by side right here, you know, so you can see the difference. And um, you know, it's kind of there. You can see the eyebrows. You know, it's kind of like joining together, and his lips are a little bit more intense, I guess. You know, a, a little bit more. Um, action going on with the the blue figure on the on the right and that's the uh, neutral one and this is the um i guess action head sculpt so you know a little bit out there and you know if you go up close you can see the pores and all that stuff it it really looks like penny hardaway so i can't complain as far as the head sculpt or the uh you know the uniforms and all that stuff as far as the price you know, this is a different story. Two ninety nine. I always, I, I, I've said it before. I always think that NBA figures shouldn't be more than one hundred fifty each. And in this case, because you're gonna ship him as one, so it should have been. I guess I would have been more okay if this this set was two fifty, or even lower. Or, you know, obviously I want it lower, but realistically, I would say two fifty. You know, is is a fair price instead of three hundred. You know, it's Penny Hardaway. I mean, there's a reason why it's still available at Big Bad Toy Store or any Enter Bay products for that matter. And size comparison wise, you know, he's he's pretty much in line with Scottie Pippen and, and Tracy McGrady. Ironically, they both played for the Magic as Penny and uh, McGrady and both wore number one. 
So I don't know which jersey they're going to retire. I know they put Penny in the Hall of Fame, but it doesn't. I don't know if that means retiring his jersey. But Penny at least went to the finals, you know, once, got swept. Uh, T Mac, you know, I think went to the second, maybe for just first round, I think, in the Magic era. How, you know, he's by himself there, but he was pretty good. He won uh, a scoring title and all that stuff. It never really got far. And there you go, Scottie Pippen. He got they kind of played in the same era, how even though Scotty was you know kind of on his way out when Penny was on his peak. Scotty was a little bit older back then, still on his peak though. You know, it was the, the second three peat era. And I'll put him on some poses before we wrap this thing up. You know, I've mentioned this before. I love posing NBA figures because you know they they just have this attitude, and they kind of remind you, at least myself. You know, whenever I buy a uh, a sneaker or you know a jersey, kind of reminds me of my childhood when I'm watching NBA games back then. You know, it was so much fun. Um, and and these figures reminds me of that. Kind of brings me back some memories. You know, that the timeline that I was in. So. I love having these guys around um, and also the poses you're gonna have some fun with poses because there's no restriction outside of the fact that it's not double jointed on the elbows and they do that for aesthetic purposes obviously you don't want to show those many uh, many joints as possible so I'm totally fine with this that's why I, I'm a little bit turned off on the one ninth um i guess scale because i know it's action for for mostly for action and and it works well for poses it's just that you know i can only take so much joints you know i visibly at least i i know it's more dynamic i know it's for more poses but you can pull off nice poses with with limited range of joints in this one six scale um uh, figures and this is one of those um i know penny hardaway was a high flyer back then not much so like like Vince Carter or Michael Jordan, but he can get up there, you know, if he wants to. He has a good mid-range game. Passing is excellent, and when he teamed up with Shaq, you know, when they were they were at their highest, you know, they have they're scary, man. They they got different gears. They can go fast. They can go slow. They can pound it inside, or Penny can kill you in the post because he's such a big guard. And um, you know, can, this is him. I'm um, just get him on a post where he's directing traffic, you know, kind of pointing which direction you need to go to. He was a pretty good point guard and pretty tall at that. Kind of like Sean Livingston, just height wise and body wise, you know, when he was starting. So, but uh, his peak was obviously better than Sean Livingston, although Sean Livingston has a, has a ring now. But you know, so is Robert Ari. And here he is. Yeah, I miss those days. Him. Yeah, I still played him on, on 2K. I was a Bulls fan, but, you know, even as a Bulls fan back then, you, you, you know, you don't take out the fact that they eliminated the Bulls in the playoffs. When Michael Jordan returned, you know, even though Michael Jordan just came back. And we all thought they were going to take the East, you know. and But, you know, we all know what happened. The Bulls won three-peat after that. And I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what happened to the Magic and... They just, they just, I guess it's the Bulls. It's the Bulls effect right there. They got, they got Dennis Scott. They got outside range with Nick Anderson. They got uh, um, Nick Anderson, Dennis Scott, him. I think it's uh, Bo Outlaw or something. I don't know. I forgot. But, you know, they, they got him and Shaq just enough back then. But unfortunately, injuries, even though he didn't make, win a ring, I was hoping that his career would, you know, at least be a better one. But him and Grant Hill, tragedy in the 90s. Um, equivalent, I would say, of Brandon Roy in the 2000 era, which is, and now Derrick Rose. He's still playing, but we all know how it is. And he, he's currently now in Cleveland. I want to see what happens there. And I, I'm surprised he took a massive pay cut. You know, he could have played in a team where, but maybe no one's signing him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's ha happening in because he just got him. I think he just tore his meniscus be af after the season ended. So that's another hit on his knee. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a big gamble, kind of like with Penny when he tore his. I, I think it's his knee or Achilles or, but it's a big gamble signing these guys for a long term contract, knowing the the injury history. 
uh, that y you never know if they're going to play a 70 games or 20 games in that season and you're paying them millions of dollars and and Derrick Rose just signed a little bit above the minimum I think like 2.2 mil which is a lot of money for me but for him coming out of 21 million contract and I know he wasn't going to get that but the way the NBA is handing out contracts these days I thought he was going to get at least 12 you know I mean what's his name uh, the guy from Lakers who, uh, Timothy Mosgov got last year or the year before that 15 mil a year right? and I don't understand why Derrick Rose only got 12 and he put up 18 points a game in New York last season it was pretty pretty deep pretty good you know pretty serviceable guard still and um, you know I'm from Chicago so I still wish him all the best but not when we face him. And he's also playing in Cleveland. So he might go to the NBA Finals because the, we, the, we, the East is so weak. But we never know what's going to play out with this Kyrie Irving uh, drama, though. And So there you go, guys. Uh, going back to the Penny Hardaway. It's an okay-looking figure. It's a, it's a, If you're a big fan of the 90s, I, he's one of the, uh, I would say, anchors of, of NBA basketball back in the 90s. Because Jordan was on his way out, even though he's still at his peak back then. He was this guy was fun to watch. You know, he was he was the favorite of young guys. You know, the, the Orlando Magic uniform was cool back then. So he, he brings a lot of nostalgia in that sense. For $299, you're getting two figures. So you can you can look at it as $150 each. Is it still a lot? In my opinion, yes. But in today's standards, I guess that's pretty fair. Um, you know, knowing the hot toys uh regular figure now is around 235 so you're adding 75 dollars for a second figure for 150 each uh sure why not but if you if not you know like i said check out under and other nba figures back at big bad you know they got a lot they got dirk they got Shaq. i don't think they have any more jordans uh but as far as this guy you know uh, his head sculpt is pretty solid uniform is nicely done i can i can tell you that None and no accessories outside of hands whatsoever, but he comes with, you know, the full package of the second figure. He just doesn't have the knee brace for the the white figure, but, you know, overall, I would say it's pretty good. You're going to get your money's worth, but I understand that if you don't, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a complicated figure, I guess. It has a targeted market, so it's not for everyone. He's not super popular. You got to be... You know, a big fan of the game or somebody who was born in the 90s to appreciate, you know, Penny Hardaway. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope I see you next time. Just, you know, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And follow me on Instagram. I'm posting um, my, my figures, pictures there. It's going to be.